What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DevSlips. In this video, we're going to be talking about some languages that if you're someone learning how to code and you want to get a career in programming fast, and I don't mean fast like three months, I mean fast as like as fast as possible, then these are some of the languages that you might want to stay away from because they're not going to get you there very quickly. Starting up, we're just going to dive right in. The first language is C++. Now, C++ is an amazing language. And keep in mind, as we go through this video, I'm not saying that any of these are bad languages. I'm just saying that if you're someone who wants to make a career in programming as quickly as possible, these languages aren't going to be the route to get you there because they're going to require a lot more of your brain and a lot more of the things you need in order to actually make a career. So C++, C++ is an amazing language, but its learning curve is incredibly steep, especially as someone looking to get a career in programming. Learning C++ as a beginner is going to completely challenge your brain in ways that you never thought possible to the point where you're going to want to chunk your laptop out of the window. C++ is an incredibly hard language, and it's used in a lot of machine learning, it's used in a lot of different industries, but overall, if you're someone looking to make a career in programming as quickly as possible, learning C++ is not the way to go because you're going to end up discouraged, and the time it's going to take you to master or at least be proficient in that language is a lot longer than the time it would take to learn a language, say, like JavaScript. The next language is, and this is going to ruffle some feathers because it is preached so much, so much, as a beginner is Python. Now, before you leave this video, let me tell you why I'm saying you shouldn't learn Python as a beginner in programming looking to make a career fast. Python is an incredible language. I'm not taking that away from it. I'm not saying Python is a bad language. I'm not saying that Python doesn't have its uses. I'm not saying anything bad about Python. All I'm going to say is that Python is used a lot as a tool in subset with other tools. And as by itself, Python alone, Python on its own, you will not be able to get a job with just understanding Python. Take web development, for example. Python is used in a lot of web development practices. But when employers are looking for someone to hire, they need someone with the skills that are up to date with the industry. That would be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React. Those are the skills that employers are looking for. Python can be useful in web development after you've already mastered those skills. So if you're someone who's looking to get into the industry and make a career in programming quickly, you don't want to learn and jump into Python because it's not going to give you any set path. Maybe data science, for example. Data science, you're more up to have a degree in order to get a job in data Data science. Now, if you're someone who data science is where you want to be, that's your passion, that's what you want to do, that's what you love, by all means, start with Python. I'm not discrediting that for what it's set for. But, date, but Python by itself does not really have a set path forward that can get you to a career quickly. The next language is PHP. PHP, to put it simply, it's hard to find a job. It's hard to find a job. Typically, companies, a lot of companies use PHP with their software. That is true. That is 100% true. But the thing is, is they probably already have one or two programmers that are good at PHP and they don't need another one. So if you're someone who just learned PHP and Laravel and you're trying to get a job and you're saying, hey, I'm learning PHP and Laravel, they're going to be like, oh, well, we already have Bob who's been a programmer for like 20 years and he knows PHP and he manages all of that stuff. So we don't really need another PHP developer. You see, PHP, PHP can be great and its uses can be great. It's going to be a little bit steeper of a learning curve because it can be janky, a little fiddly, but it's not going to get you an, a job in the industry as quickly as something else would. And the last language, and this is again, might ruffle some feathers, is Java. Java, once again, kind of like PHP, it's used in a lot of enterprise software. It's also used with a lot of legacy code. And legacy code is basically code that's been there for ages. Literally the name, legacy code. I call it ancient code. Ancient code, they typically have, once again, another 40-year-old programmer who's been coding since he was like a caveman with a chisel and a hammer. And, he, and he's the one who handles all of the legacy code. So by coming in, unless you're looking to strictly work in enterprise things, getting a job with just Java by itself and getting a job as a Java developer is going to be much more difficult than some of the other languages that you can learn out there. Now guys, this was a brief video and this kind of broke down some of the four languages that you probably want to stay away from as a beginner just learning how to code. There are also some other languages that you probably want to stay away from. But 
but these are really the most popular in mind languages. When you're looking up languages, it's easy to see those languages, find interest in them, and fall into that trap, especially Java, because that's something that's taught in universities. But universities also have a super outdated curriculum, so using Java might not be the best route. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Leave your comments down below on what you think. Leave your opinions down below on the languages, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.